Mm, that's drunk. Hello, little different video this week. Uh, I was lucky enough to get a f review copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, and I am here with my girlfriend Pearl, who is player two. Hi. <laughs> well done. But yeah, um, I've been excited for this game for months and months and months. Um, I've been offered to play stuff on a reviewing uh, reviewer code before and stuff like that, but this is the only one I've jumped on because this game looks awesome. I love all the old Turtles Arcade stuff. Um, as you can see, the animation style here is your classic late 80s, like straight from the cartoon. Um, you got Mike Patton singing the theme song. Like Mike Patton of all people, really? It's, it's pretty freaking cool. I don't know if he did this song arrangement himself or if they just brought him in to sing. But yeah, that is Mike Patton's voice. Um, it would have been funny if they did the typical Mike Patton thing. Like if they did it like a Phantomous song. And he's like... Rah! You're not laughing. Teenage, I'm not. <laughs> Shredder, 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 Shredder. I don't understand the references. Boo! Okay, let's go. Uh, we are going to press the any key. And yeah, this is the, this is these are all the options you start with. Uh, there is your normal story mode. Arcade mode uh, will give you uh, will just kind of limit everything for you. So yeah, um, and then there's a tutorial. There's all sorts of like achievements and stuff. Also, I think this music is from the original cartoon, which is kind of cool. But yeah, it's all sorts of that stuff. Here's your your options. That looks like it says something else. It looks like it says not flick sprint but <laughs> something else that threw me for a second um but yeah we're just gonna do the regular story mode and do a new game we have chill and then we have okay and gnarly man we're gonna play okay, okay. Not, not hardcore enough to play gnarly and yeah you, you get the tar t tutorial here uh how to play it's pretty dang simple. It's a beat em up, so I'm gonna skip this. Select your hero. Okay, press press start. <laughs> You're not gonna be a uh, splinter? Oh, I can be April. Right. Yeah. I'll be the chick. <laughs> um I love Donatello, so that's gonna be my guy. So yeah press start. But yeah you start out with five playable characters. Um and here's your story segment. When you beat the game, you can unlock a sixth character. I think everybody knows who that is. Here's, we're watching Vern, everybody's very intently watching Vernon's views. <laughs> but soon it gets taken over by Krang's head. Krang's body's head, rather. Live footage gets turns into live foots. You know, it's Bebop's beat instead of Vernon's beat, and Bebop is wearing a suit. I wonder if it's like a bespoke suit, if he had it like professionally made, tailored, three thousand dollars, one of those silk lining. I don't know. <laughs> Why are they watching the news together? At, like so, like. Why is she holding her? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, she's announcing the news, I guess. Why wouldn't she be on the news? But yeah, as you can see, the, the level intro is exactly like it is um, for the, uh, as it was with uh, the Super Nintendo games and the arcade games. Yeah, she, yeah, that's a thousand dollar microphone she's throwing around. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty simple beat em up. Um, and there we got a foot soldier taking notes and answering the phone. With the story here being that um, the foot clan has taken over the, um, the 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 station, but there's still lots of dudes here, like lots of foot soldiers, like playing, you know, like uh, doing the jobs of the people that they've made leave, which is very odd. Here, I'm gonna throw up a special move here. That's cool. And then, hold up, hold up, JB. 
You uh um, so you can press one of the trigger buttons to do a taunt. Yeah, that's April's. Uh, yeah, Donatello plays Game Boy. N no clue what game. It's probably Fall of the Foot Clan. There you go. There's your special move. Which is pretty handy. And we can throw the foot soldiers at the screen, just like Turtles in Time. It's freaking awesome. I think it's a lighting rig. Whoa. Yeah, here we have the break room. We saw guys playing Game Boy in the break room, foot soldiers. Here we have foot soldiers hard at work. The guy doesn't even have a keyboard. This guy doesn't have a monitor. Oh, oh those are perfectly good CRTs. Don't wreck those. Oh, can we can we hit each other? I don't think we can. No, we can't. I think there is a mode. I think arcade mode makes you hit each other. Oh, wait. What's going on? Hey, it's Vern. I thought his name was Vern. Who's who's Burn? Oh, uh, Ver I got Vernon confused yeah. with. Huh. That's my bad. Yeah. Now we're on a studio. Oh, now we have uh, cooking. We have foot soldiers making a cooking show. <laughs> they are. <laughs> They're capable of anything. Can I not do my... Oh, there we go. So I... <laughs> I wonder if... Okay, so there's a pizza coming up next. I'm wondering if... Who needs it more? I need it more. So there's only one. So we do have to... Frozen ham? You can't eat the ham, unfortunately. They're doing a uh, ex exercise show. Doing crunches. These guys have shields. They're bastards. Throw them at the wall. Oh, we can do like all sorts of uh, combo moves too. We, yeah, we just did. Like, look at hit that lighting rig over there. I mean, it's got a fall on somebody. Here, let's see if we can do some sort of, like... No, that's not what I want to do. I think you gotta hit start. Just game over on me? Well, now you're back anyway, so that was weird. Hey, what the heck? Oh. Oh, we're playing this on Steam, by the way. Um, and uh, yeah, got the Steam code. There is going to be crossplay available between Steam, uh, Windows, and Xbox, which makes sense. But um, apparently, if you have this game on Switch, or on PlayStation, uh, you can only play on those respective consoles when it comes to multiplayer. Now she works at the station, I think. I don't think they can hear you that well, by the way. You have to get closer to the mic. But yeah, this game is very much a straightforward beat-em-up. I know a lot of people are going to want to compare this one to uh, Streets of Rage 4. And that game is just going to be a lot different. Uh, it's um, that one's going to be more intensive with move set and also a lot more different characters and I'll let you get whatever that is. Classic headline found him. That wasn't in the demo. But yeah, th I 
it's easy to compare this with Streets of Rage 4, but it's a different thing entirely. Like this, this is all about, uh, similar to uh, Turtles in Time, this is all about chaos. Like just, like you want to keep playing just to see what happens next. And to see what kind of ridiculous sights you see. Like Bebop in a suit. Oh, not for long. <laughs> like that's why you want to play this, for the, for the universe. Yeah, you can see like the it's got the same format as the as what you're used to with Turtles in Time, like uh, the enemy counter in the top, the um, special moves and all that sort of stuff. So I'm over here playing Game Boy while you're getting your ass kicked. But yeah, this is up to six player compatible, which is pretty insane. Can you imagine six characters on the screen at the same time with this? Pretty nuts. Alright, we almost got him. Oh, that was stupid. Oops. Meanwhile, I'm dead. Yeah, and you can level up in this game. There is, uh, there are experience points, and you can, I think, increase your health meter. And yeah, there's competition between um, whoever gets the most kills. That was you. And um, yeah, so multiplayer really adds way more to this game. You, you, there's your longest hit streak. Lots of stats, lots of good stuff here. And of course, you know, the best part of this is the Ninja Turtles world and how they uh, how they uh, captured the just the mood of the original cartoon, not the original comic, which was actually pretty dark, but the original cartoon. Radical, Burn Thompson. Okay, now we have. This is also different from the. So yeah, there's side quests here, so we can do this. Run errands for burn. Nobody wants to do that. Um, let's go to level two. Big Apple 3 p.m. Big Apple 3 p.m. instead of Big Apple 3 a.m. <laughs> Rocksteady carrying Krang's body's head like a football for some reason. But yeah, everything is really solid with this game from a basic fundamental standpoint. Like the hit detection, the speed, the b a balance of speed between everything. I mean, this game is pretty dang easy so far. I'm not, if you're looking for, whoa. If you're looking for a challenge, like you're gonna wanna go, not gonna wanna play Ninja Turtles. I mean, look at this. Friggin' Barishnikov over here. Oops. There we go. Yeah, you're destroying me when it comes to the stat game here. Yeah, classic button masher. I think that's another difference between um, Streets of Rage is that it's much less of a button masher. You get rewarded. I mean, granted, there are a lot of things you can do. And Yep, we got tire tossing. But yeah, there's all sorts of extras. Um, I The world map is different from the demo. I didn't realize that was a thing, so that's cool. We got foot soldiers in trash bags. That's cool. Like, why are they in tr voluntarily in trash bags? Be cool. Be cool if a bunch of garbage came out with them. Oh, check this out. Check this out. So, let this let this guy uh, throw his uh, projectile. Oh, damn it. You can actually hit it back at him, which is fun. Oh, these things. Remember these? Yeah, the very, like I haven't overstated it enough already, very Turtles in Time vibe to this game. Yeah. 
so let's try and do like a let's get down to one guy here and let's try and do a uh, double team move here I'll grab him and then you come up to him grab him oh you just go up to him like you Oh, watch out. He's going to run you over. Oh, yeah. The sheer violence in this game is great. Oh, yeah. See, these dudes right here, you can hit their projectiles back at them. Which is awesome. Are there going to be dudes in the mailbox? Are there going to be dudes? I mean, there's dudes in trash bags. I mean, they could come from anywhere. Oh, <laughs> they ran over their own guys, you idiots. I mean, they're multi-talented. They can answer phones and take notes and play Doom on computers and waste time at work, but they're not very smart. We probably should have coordinated that a little better, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, this is... Oh, he, he ran away with the engine! Where's he going? <laughs> These freaking things. These things were such bastards in Turtles and Farm. But yeah, it doesn't... This game doesn't uh, shamelessly recreate Turtles and Farm. It recreates certain elements. Oh, you've got, like, unlimited power here. Damn, dude. I can't even see anything because the camera's shaking so much. I do wonder if that's something you can turn off. Yes. Only one side, though. Like most beat em ups, this is another game you could. He on the puddle, did he really? I think he did. Oh, I can't slip. But um, you can jump kick your way through this game, no freaking problem. Oh, did I accidentally? Yeah, these axe guys do a lot of damage. Oh, do a taunt. Oh, he stole the engine to bring it over to Rocksteady. Oh. That's what he was doing. <laughs> Rampage way. relishing rhino. <laughs> okay. There you go. Sweet. I don't think so. Um, I think it's just foot soldiers coming out and then he drops a bunch of bombs like in a circle around him <laughs> yeah turtle it, it helps to understand a lot of turtle lore if you uh what is that countdown for oh you could revive me that's what that is hit L Left trigger. Oh. I, just you <laughs> <laughs> I deserve that, probably. Don't die. <laughs> Don't die next time. You fool. Yeah, that, that sounds like a very... If it's not the same guy as Rocksteady that did the original voice in the cartoon, um, that would... Uh, it sounds very similar. I won that one. Cool. Boo. I don't know where you 
Love the pixel art here. It's great. So yeah, on to level three. So yeah, we can actually go back to the turtle lair. Let's go check out this side mission. This one over here, let's check out what this side mission is. I need my papers back. Now hurry. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is just keeping track of how many oh. things you collect. So that's that's not quite as I know there are side quests in this game. See it's you got stats over here, collectibles, challenges. So it gives you an incentive to go back and play these again. I don't know what else there is to collect, but we can also go back to the turtle lair. I guess this is just the dojo, the library. So it's, yeah, it's a big collection quest, same as anything else. I'm guessing as you find more characters from the show, they'll give you more side quests to do. So, and you have the option to look at the whole city too. So that's cool. And at any point, this is like arcade style, so you can like send out an invite to join your game as is. Hey, look, there's Irma. <laughs> so we can actually create a uh, party right here. We can have friends join, or we join other friends. friends. We don't have friends, so no worries there. But um, yeah, let's keep going with episode three here. Mutants over Broadway. Mutants over Broadway. I hope this is like a a theater themed thing, or is this a gimmick level where we're chasing them? <laughs> oh yeah, this is like a uh, sewer surfing type thing, but it's on the street. Street surfing, I guess. Yeah, you gotta imagine that. These things are hard to hit. There we go. Hey, well done. I'm just gonna freaking button mash. But again, this is pretty freaking cool. It's uh, exhilarating because you the speed, and there's no nothing. There's no like slowdown. Even if you have like a gazillion enemies or sprites, you know. I know that's that should go without saying because this is a modern game, but it's kind of refreshing. Because, you know, we're used to older stuff, or at least I am. Because I'm old. Oh, and Wu-Tang Clan does a song on this, too. Um, not... I mean, it's just Raekwon and... Uh... <laughs> the saddest playthrough is just us getting killed. Yeah, Raekwon and Ghostface Killa do a song for this, which is pretty sweet. Jesus. I apologize for the language. Yeah, all, all, the, all the children. Oh, great. Is this like a boss fight? Ah, gotcha. Yeah, you have to hold the uh, L button down, the, L, the left trigger, and a meter. Jesus. Yeah, this th this is starting to get a little bit harder. Just because these things are so dang hard to hit. <laughs> That's true. You can play it on chill. Oh, now we got guys with wrenches. If you were a foot soldier, what color would you want to be? Would you want to be just a purple one? Blue. Yeah, they look happy. It is a nice color. It's kind of like a... Got a... What does it have? Like a... Hey, I need that. Oh, sweet. Now we got foot soldiers on jetpacks with freaking Gatling guns. <laughs> you get to work at a TV station. You, you get your own jetpack. Yeah, but the thing is, once you find the, the turtles and you get an opportunity to kill them, 
Uh, you die in like two seconds. Uh, I'm gonna need to be revived soon. I think. I'm like blinking red like I have scarlet fever. Why can't we get this guy? <laughs> He's too good. He's damn good. Yep, okay. Revive me. There you go. You just shove a pizza in his face. <laughs> I mean, who? I, if you're knocked out, if you're shell shocked, and one of the Ninja Turtles, then yeah, you're going to want a pizza in your face. What was uh, Michelangelo's gag? Was always like the grossest possible pizza, like pineapple. yeah, pineapple, pe peanut butter, and marshmallow, or something bizarre like that. All right, now we have our official Toidal Tenderizer. Hey, they just called us wimps. I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna bounce off their truck like an idiot. <laughs> can I still? Yeah, I can still taunt. I can play Game Boy on my skateboard or hoverboard or whatever this is. Just do a special attack. Back off and do a taunt. Oh, uh, yours doesn't work very well, it seems like. Oh, that didn't look good. Ah, you ran me over. Oh shit, I'm supposed to revive you. I didn't even see that. I don't think I can, though. I keep getting bombed. No, she's back. You just lose a life. They don't give you enough time to do a taunt to... <laughs> I'm not revived yet. I'm dead. You're dead. <laughs> Eat that damn pizza! For God's sake! I'm holding it right in front of your face! There, gotcha. Yeah, that's probably something Michelangelo would put on a pizza. Yeah, this is freaking ridiculous. Can I? Probably not, actually. Maybe. Let's try. Nope. Can't do can't, can't hit those back. We are on the struggle bus right now. <laughs> Eat! <laughs> Eat this pizza! <laughs> For God's sake! Yeah, see, they're not gonna let you do that. All right, we almost got it. You got it. It's over. Way to go! Way to go! Yeah, I win again. Wrecking Ball Award, most objects broken. So yeah, there's all sorts of like modern trimmings and stuff like that when it comes to this. Finally, Shredder, it's supposed to be your revenge, dude. Anyway, we are back on the world map. I didn't collect any newspapers, though. Well, how did we do? Yeah, there were no collectibles on that one. So let's just keep going. In the zoo. Yeah, I think Turtles in Time did the same thing where they got the silhouettes of the bosses to give you kind of a preview. Up, 
Bebop got swallowed up by something. What's this parrot doing over here? Oh, okay. <laughs> I like the Shredder statues. <laughs> no, you cannot. Damn, that guy with the axe does an insane... You gotta get rid of him, like, immediately. Busy playing the Game Boy over here, leave me alone. Nah. <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> See, you should be able to do that. Oh, these guys got whips. That's not cool. He slips on the water. Wow, that, achie that achievement's called Mode 7. Hey, this guy's having ice cream. I know. I want to work for Shredder. You get ice cream. You get to take naps. <laughs> Live in trash. <laughs> All right, I think you can wreck these mailboxes. Hey, I found this freaking guy. Does he help us or does he just sit there? What are you gonna do something? Play Game Boy with him. Yeah, <laughs> do something. <clears throat> Ooh, that was well done. I'm excited for a game over, actually, because I want to be able to switch characters. I should be able to do that. Hey, wake up! I think that's just a chess board. Yeah, they're going really all in on the New York. This is kind of like a Central Park vibe. Central Zoo, rather. But they have chess boards and stuff like that, though. Yeah, like most beat em ups, you can freaking jump kick your way to freedom. Ouch, that hurt. Oops. <laughs> oh, look out! Yeah, the roll really helps in this game. It helps avoid um, damage big time. Okay, watch out. Oh, we did that too early. We should have waited till these things came out. There we go, that was cool. Can I slip on this water? <laughs> I am dead. Uh, I have three lives. Are you okay? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, and you you don't get nearly as much life when you're revived. You only get a fraction. It looks like a fourth or maybe a third. Oh, and your energy fills back up in between levels, I noticed. Those sleepies. You're tired. I've had hard days. Disgusting bug found. Oh, that's nice. Oops. Yeah. Too late. Ah, the monkeys got you. And now I'm dead. Oh well. Hey, what's this monkey doing? Yeah, lots of different enemy types. Um, I mean. It's about what I expected so far. That's the thing, is you don't really need to be sold on Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. You know what you're getting. Like, all you need to see is like five seconds of footage. And it's like, oh, it's a Ninja Turtles game. It's bright and colorful. It has foot soldiers doing ridiculous things. There's lots of confusion and chaos and craziness. Get this newspaper up here. You throw people at the screen. There's cool settings. You look at birds and get run over by rhinoceroses.
Oh, boss time. Whoa! We got some deep cuts here with uh, these characters. I don't even know who these guys are. These from like the other animated series or something? Oh shit. <laughs> April can handle herself, she's doing just fine. She has a microphone. Oh wow, we got slow moving bullets. What is this, frickin' uh, Sunset Riders? Yeah, I'm just doing the beat em up thing where I'm just taking my damage. Thank you. That's like the fourth time you've revived me, I think. <laughs> I'm being reckless. I'm over here playing. Damn. Got trapped. So yeah, you can basically just go off into a corner, come back with a taunt. Stop playing your damn Game Boy and come help you. Oh, that was rude. Now we're both dead. Yeah, and if we both die, there's no revival period, like, at all. Yeah, so you just, like, go off by yourself. Oh, that guy's dead? Nice. Yeah, I like the bosses. I like the uh, the increase in difficulty here. That was pretty tough. I mean, it's still a beat 'em up, so it's not going to be that hard. But that truck so far was like by far the worst boss. We got the pacifist award. Fewest enemies defeated. What? Uh oh. What, Krang's body? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It looked like another person, and it looked like it was sad. Oh. Oh, we get to go visit Burn for a special reward. Let's see what that is. Finally, my complete collection of headlines. So what does that get us? Do we get a chance to, like... Oh, look, here's what we completed so far. Got hit while performing a taunt. Yeah, it's easy to get hit. Throw 16 enemies toward the camera. Anyway. Is there a way to, like, allocate these points that we get, or what? Because I know you can level up. All right, on to episode five. Is that Rat King? I think that's Rat King. Yep, we are <laughs> dealing with some rats, and they're watching. They're reading. They're catching up on the news. Like nobody no even knows what. So you learn new moves. That's cool. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. So yeah, it's just uh, doing a um, special move in while you're jumping. There's not a whole lot to say here about this game. It's just, you know what you're getting. It's a beat- Oh, nice. A secret diary. Is that Vernon's diary? Yeah, why would we care? This is like somebody else's stuff. <laughs> Any comments? Uh, 
Uh, you, well, I guess I can do it. <laughs> Destroyed. What's the point of destroying that pamphlet station? <laughs> oh, we got something new here. No, not anything. I guess maybe that's something you can pick up if you press the right button. Is there anything back here? Nope. <laughs> yeah, those are mousers. Like, uh, Baxter Stockman, I think, invented those. Yeah, and they get stuck to you. Like Great them. sprite art there. They cry when they die. No, they don't. They <laughs> That's some great freaking animation there. They're pretty easy, though, but, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Game Boy in the sewer. Sit down in this green muck. <laughs> Another toad guy found? He's got an axe! <laughs> like, dude, dude! <laughs> uh... Oh, watch out. I think you can get damaged by the steam. Yeah, that, that spike attack is freaking awesome. <laughs> Another disgusting bug found. How lovely. Michelangelo. Really. All right, I think we're coming up on another boss here. Probably the Rat King. If I had to guess. I'm in uh, completely. I've only played the first two levels of this before. That's what the demo came with. So let's see what uh, what awaits us. Oh, we have more horribly disgusting stuff. Hey, it's Rat King. <laughs> wow, it's like anime Rat King. Remember him looking like. Just a minute. And I'll let you take care of that. <laughs> Damn, this is tough. Oh, you spoke too soon. They bite you. And th then the next level, you like die of some horrible disease. Hantavirus or something, yeah. Wow, okay, yeah, this dude is tough. No, no, I don't like the rats. Ah, the stray rat got me. I like how they vary up the patterns, that's neat. Let me give, give me some time to play my Game Boy over here. Just a minute. God. 
There we go. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I am not. I got wrecked. Yeah, we're really racking up the uh, extra lives here. We have not yet been in any sort of danger of gaming over or anything like that. What? I didn't get credit for that one. God, it's almost like he's the Rat King or something. Don't bother, it's you're not gonna have a chance to with all the rats. We got him. Just one more hit. Yeah, this rat stuff's getting real old, buddy. I think we can do... Let's play one more level and then we can call it finished. I mean, call this particular video finished. Oh, I think uh, when you destroy objects... when. You you uh, get an award. So get an award? award? Yeah. Okay. It should be called Public Menace. <laughs> you destroy <laughs> all the vending machines. All right. Oh, April looks pissed. All right, so we're still chasing Rocksteady and Bebop, even though we already kicked the crap out of them. And in the meantime, all these other people keep getting in our way. Now the map has circled around to a mall. Burn, you got any? Burn, I mean, you got anything for us? No. No, nothing really new here. But yeah, it seems like there's a lot of content in this game. Like, a lot. Considering how big this map is. So, yeah. So there's all the multiplayer, there's a whole bunch of different levels, all sorts of different settings. Now we get to go to a mall setting, so let's check that out. So, I remember what I think it was the Power Rangers game that where you played through a mall. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, hit combinations allow you to earn special attacks um, without needing to taunt. Another secret diary. Who are these people leaving secret diary? That must not be of a, much of a secret. It's a secret to air body. <laughs> Where's uh, Auntie Ant? I want to get a, a pretzel. It'd be awesome to see like a foot soldier working there. Or at least someone in a foot soldier costume, like in an actual uh, food court. Where's, where's Spencer Gifts? Oh, look, these, <laughs> these guys are just trying to have lunch. Wow, what a weird, it's got boxing gloves for feet. Oh, there we go. We got Sushi Guy. He's earning, he's earning his paycheck. Working through the... Oh, we got Pizza Guy. Even though he's wearing the same uniform as Pizza. <laughs> yeah, I want to join the Foot Soldiers Union for sure. I wonder what you got to do to get in that. Oh, we have an escalator. Aw. You can't go up it, though. And you can't...
Hey, free shirts. One of them's a Ninja Turtle shirt. Yeah, the further you get in this game, the more stuff you can knock over. That's kind of surprising, because normally you'd want to, like, start the game out with... Alright, this is getting ridiculous. There we go. Normally you'd want to start the game out with, like, a bunch of stuff like that. That's how most arcade games are. Arcade beat-em-ups are structured to get people to waste their quarters. Hey, there's a shopping cart for you. This is gonna get me I found a, I found a VHS tape. Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, another one of these guys that just stands there. What's up, buddy? Just a minute. Just a minute. Oh, they are the Kung Frogs. Yeah, I think they were featured in like a later season episode. Uh, they were pretty useless if I remember correctly, yes. I think they were the answer to like the battle toads or something. I don't know. God, these guys are a pain in the ass. You can't jump kick them. I was wrong, you can't jump kick your way through this one. They actually thought of that. Oh, you need a pizza big time. Your life is almost dead. Let me get rid of this guy. I'm shoving a pizza into your back. <laughs> you still have two lives though. It's almost like for every life we lose, life we lose, we get one right back. This game is pretty dang forgiving. Lots of carnage, though. Yeah. Hey, we found Vernon. So now we're gonna have. Oh, what arcade games are these? Hey, you smashed them before I could see. I don't know if Vernon was a gamer. All right. Let me see if I can... Oh, never mind. You found one last level. Yeah. No, that was you. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, uh, Tempestra? It's friggin' Shredder! He's playing... He's hanging out in the arcade. You can't wreck him? Oh, no way! You can freaking summon people? That's not cool. Oh, and in the meantime, you can't hit her until you wreck these guys. Yeah, we're not doing very good with the, uh... Uh, team moves. I don't think we've done one yet. Yeah, I was like, you can do team moves. We ha we just haven't figured it out yet. We're too busy button mashing. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, I recognize these guys. The turtle thing is in, uh... Turtle and Prime, I think? they give off when they get killed are pretty funny. Sorry. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. She better not summon three people. Shove pizza into your shirt. 
Mom, I want some pizza. Come on. There we go. Dump and dump. Pizza. Actually, just finish her off. That works too. <laughs> he can revive me after. All right, that was cool. Spent the most time in the air. They actually track that. That's crazy. Let's see what uh, Vernon has to offer. Oh wow, is that the rest of Krang's body? Yep, it looks like it. It was inside a Tempestra video game. Huh. Tubular! You've unlocked a special request from something. Okay, let's see what that's all about. Nope, nope, nope. And then... Oh, they're his VHS tapes. That's pretty funny. Is that really all you do is you just collect stuff for these people? That's fine. Alright, so let's... Let's, uh... Let's uh, go back to the, um, here. How do I get to the, uh, yeah, let's leave the world map. And your hero. Oh, you can leave the world map and pick new characters. That's nice. And look, your character is leveled up to three. Mine is up to four. That's pretty neat. We must so what now, fearless leader? So that's cool. That's what, where you leave the world map. But I would like to go to the move list. I think I can actually go in here. So we fight Bebop and Rocksteady again. Let's see. So hold on. I want to go to the move list. And let's see like what, how the heck can we do. Because we're just going through this button mashing. Who cares? It's a beat em up. But I do want to show off as much as I can. See, anything with parenthetical team attack. So if you just press the attack button when we're on the same side of the opponent, that should do something. And then... <laughs> yeah, sandwich attack. And home run swing. I feel like we've done a few of those. It's just... Alright. Let's get on the... Uh, Yeah, what's uh, Raph's taunt? <laughs> Raph just laughs. <laughs> Ooh, he does a German suplex as a as a throw. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's get on the other either. Uh, never mind. Yeah, we were gonna do a try a team attack here. Or do we have to go down? What's going on here? Oh, we still have. All right. Oh, I fell. Whoops. Damn. Okay, yeah, this game is getting pretty hard. Yeah. I got thrown off. <laughs> I just like him because he looks like a rat. <laughs> he is a rat. I think you actually do need to jump. I know you're you're wary about doing that. Did you just fall again? <laughs> See, the, the action is so damn crazy, it's hard to get on either side and like do anything like that deliberately. <laughs> All right, should we call this uh, a wrap here? I think we've been playing this like about an hour. So yeah, that's it. We just wanted to show this game off, uh, to show off all the possibilities and all that sort of stuff. A lot of fun, lives up to the hype. I mean, as long as the hype is just, you know, you expect the Ninja Turtles beat em up. I love it, I think it's a lot of fun. And I'm gonna die. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.
Good night. What's up, fellas?